In this video I will talk about aggregating codes. I will explain what it means and why uh, you need to do it and how to do it, how not to do it. So what are the problems uh, with aggregating codes and how to clean up uh, the so-called dirty codes as I explain. Uh, so if you're not using NVivo, uh, although the term aggregating codes is probably specific to NVivo, if you're not using NVivo, what I'll explain in this video will still be relevant because it will be important for how you present the results uh, of your data analysis. So now I'm uh, in NVivo, as you can see, I have my sample data set. And first I'll show you an example. I prepared a couple of versions of this coding framework. I'll show you an example of what I mean by aggregating codes. So as you can see, I've got a, a code or a theme. Let's call them a code uh, for now because we are still in NVivo. And if you want to know a difference between a code and a theme, there is another video. But for now, let's stick to codes. So I have this emotions code. And as you can see, I have uh, eight different emotions as subcodes or as NVivo calls them as child codes or children. At the moment, they are aggregated, which means basically that the total number uh, of these uh, of these uh, adds up to this total, total number of this main code. So you have eight codes, each of them appeared once, which means that the total number is eight. So again, if you're not using NVivo, this still applies. If you are reporting on the numbers in your data, if you have a table, for example, of themes in your uh, results chapter, what is generally expected is that this main theme or main code will uh, the, the number how many times it appeared will you know will be the total count of how many times all of these appeared what it also means in nvivo specifically is that when you double click and open this emotions code as you can see i just <laughs> i just made it uh, so that is quite easy and obvious to see which codes were co were coded which words were coded as as which code as you can see i've got eight references eight examples of different uh, emotions so i've got uh, extracts uh, there are not real extracts but i've got extracts of that present stress happiness anxiety love envy fear everything that's here everything is coded if you open uh, the emotions the emotions main code so I can find the same things if I open these individual codes. So, so stressed is exactly the same as stress in my emotions code. So basically, like I said, this means they are aggregated. Uh, they are included in this main emotions code. This is very important. There can't be any extra extracts that are coded as emotions, but they do not appear as one of these emotions. So one of so they are coded as the main code, but they do not appear as one of the one of the subcodes. You do not uh, want to have this in your data. So now quickly, before I move on to explaining why you don't want it and how to organize the codes if you if they are a little bit messy, uh, first, how to do it, how to aggregate codes S by simply right clicking on the main the main code if the code has subcodes already in NVivo and clicking on aggregate coding from children. As you can see, I already selected this, but if I unselect it, this is what happens. And you don't really want that. As I said, even outside in vivo when you present the results, if you do include the number, the, you know, the, the frequencies, coding frequencies, you want this to be, it's quite an almost natural thing to expect that this will be the total count. So again, right click and choose to aggregate coding from children. This is what you want. Now what you do not want is this example of bad coding, which means, as you can see, there is an emotions code and it still has eight emotions as subcodes, but for some reason, the number of references just doesn't add up. So the coding frequencies do not add up. There are, as you can see, eight times when, they are, when these codes appeared, but here it says 14. So straight away we know something is not right. So by looking at this, uh, we may suspect what's wrong. There are either codes that were just coded as emotions, but uh, they were not coded as any of these child codes. So maybe there is another emotion that was called as emotions initially, but then it was not actually coded as uh, as one of the emotions subcodes. Or 
some of the codes that we we already have, so fear, jealous, um, proud, and all that, they were coded as as these sub codes, but they were also coded as emotions, and this should not be happening because what happens is that we have this this number does not. Uh, reflecting the real number of of subcodes of emotion so uh, in order to so sort this out i call this process cleaning cleaning up codes and uh, and finally f finally in one of uh, recent tutorials one of my clients uh, hearing that i'm using this term cleaning up codes and clean codes suggested a term dirty codes that's why i used it at the beginning i actually like this this term so we know there are some dirty codes there we need to trace them, track them and get rid of them, get rid of the dirty codes because it cannot be as it is now. Uh, this number should add up. So uh, we open the emotions code and we try to understand what's happening. But of course, in my example, it's a small data set. If you had, a, let's say 200 codes, 200 references, so they were used 200 times, it can be quite tricky to to scroll through all these extracts and, and try to determine these dirty codes. So, uh, but fortunately there is a, a very easy way to do this. So all we need to do is to uncheck aggregate coding from children in this, in this example. If we uncheck it, then we know there are six, by looking at this number, we know there are six dirty codes. There are six things that were coded as emotions, but they were not coded as either of these subcodes. So, uh, first things, uh, if, we, if we're looking at these extracts, for example, happiness, love, envy, we have all these, we have all these subcodes, jealous, proud, we have these here. Uh, so what this means is that I coded these as emotions and then I coded them as happiness, anxiety or whatever. So I don't need them. I don't need them as emotions. I don't need them to be coded as emotions. So what I'll do, I'll just uncode them. So I'll select, I'll select my code and click on this uncode button. I'll uncode it. And this way we still have one dirty code. As you can see, shy. We don't have it here. So in this case, it was a different, different scenario. So I just, I was uh, using the emotions code to code this extract as emotions. But then I did not create a subcode. So let's just create a subcode, shy, and code this extract. Oh, actually, I did a, I made a mistake. Yeah, and let's code this as shy. And now that I have coded this as shy, I don't need. It still says one because it's still a dirty, dirty, dirty code. So, uh, so I'll just uncode it as well. Uncode it from emotions. As you can see, there are no extra, no dirty codes. Now we can right click and aggregate coding from children. So we cleaned up this, this coding framework. So finally, let me explain to you how, uh, how you may accidentally end up with a situation that you have these dirty codes, that you have this code with these extra codes and, and it's a little bit messy. Just so you know, it's a completely normal situation and I face it literally every time I work probably not literally, but most of the times I work with the data, especially at the early stages, because as you'll see, it's, it's such a normal uh, thing to do. So basically I have got another folder here. I'll be creating my new codes here. Uh, so basically as I'm reading through, as I'm reading through these, uh, these extracts initially, I may decide uh, to create a code called uh, emotions, for example. So uh, I'll code this as emotions because uh, it's the first time I see any example of emotions. I'll, I decided to call this as emotions, but then I keep reading and I see, you know, this extract and I'm thinking, oh, that's the second, the second time I see uh, something about emotions. So first thing I'll do, okay, let's code it as emotions as well. But then I'll think, you know what? I'll create a subcode. I'll call it stress. So this will be stress. Then I see happiness and I, you know, I decide to create this code as well. And I code it as happiness. But then I'm I'm still coding as, as emotions. After all, it's also about emotions. So basically that's kind of what's happening. 
um, as you can see at the moment so, so so I quite often start with something and I code it as this main thing but then as I as I keep reading I start creating these subcodes because I realize that actually I do need a few more but then I'm left with you know some codes that are just coded as as this main main code even though I haven't created subcodes so as you'll see if I aggregate coding now again doesn't make sense there are dirty codes I really like this <laughs> this term I hope we can we can uh, just start using it in a methodology classes so so we have uh, you know five codes and we should have only two so again we'll do the same thing that I just showed you we would uncheck this and open it and just make sure you know that we don't have anything extra so this uh, shy create the shy code code it and then just uncheck all of these so this will be like this and then aggregate coding again problem solved I hope that uh, I helped you in this video that you learned something new I know it was just a uh, a little thing but I, I noticed that uh, quite many people quite a few people uh, tend to struggle with this with this concept and and quite often they tend to struggle with this with these dirty codes they don't know what's happening and why these numbers uh, don't add up uh, feel free to watch my other videos about NVivo or data analysis feel free to check out my self-study course on NVivo it's really cheap and it's really good and uh, if you require personal assistance and support, uh, reach out and ask me about private tutorials.